dirty wood. They cleaned the engines very well on the telephone by the Kathy and Lizzie. Lizzie was polishing his whistle, and Kathy was cleaning down the windows in the front of his cab. Kathy jumped down. If that means you think we don't do it so well here, she said indignantly, I'm going home this minute. Peter Sam smiled. The girls' parents worked on the telephone room, and now they were on holiday on the island of Sodor, and has come to see you. I was thinking of when I was ill, Peter Sam said. I took some cleaning then. Remember? Tell us again, cried the girls. Quickly, Kathy sat on one bucket, but as he balanced herself on the other. Peter Sam took a deep breath. They have funny water on the telephone, he began. What's that got to do with it? demanded Kathy. Shh! reproved her sister. He won't tell us anything if you keep interrupting. I wasn't! Peter Sam yawned loudly. Have you two finished? he asked. Sorry, Peter Sam, apologised Kathy. I'll be quiet, I promise. Peter Sam paused. As I was saying, he went on, they have funny water in the tank. The men have to put something special into the tank at the shed to make the water taste nice. Peter Sam smiled to himself. I was feeling quite well, he remembered, until I had my drink. But that day, the water tasted awful. I told my driver how horrible it was, but he didn't seem worried. I took my coaches to the station, and the fireman let water into my boiler. Then I really began to have boiler ache. I feel sick, I said. Do the best you can, said my driver. We'll have a look at you at the end of the trip. But I never got that far. The green flag waved, and the driver asked my regulator. Wait a few inches, and then whoosh! All of the filthy white water sprayed out of my funnel. Peter Sam shuddered. This awful water splashed all over me, he went on. It was lucky there weren't any visitors nearby. Ugh! And there I was, covered in this horrible white sludge. Peter Sam shuddered again and closed his eyes. Driver tried to stop me again. The same thing happened. Luckily, Scarlow is through the town of Lynn. was at the station and it took the train. All I wanted to do was go back to the shed for the rest. But I wasn't allowed to. Why? asked Lizzie. Peter Sam paused. They said that the visitors had come to see me. I would be disappointed if I wasn't there. So I was put on the spare line and everyone was told I was ill. But you got well again, didn't you? said Kathy. Oh yes, replied Peter Sam. I was cleaned inside and out. And that was much better. They said Someone had used too much of whatever it was they put in the water tank. They do it differently now. That's right, put in Lizzie. Dad told me you have to take a pill. Not a pill, objected her sister. It's some white stuff that the fireman puts into our tank when we have a drink, said Peter Sam. Much better. It took ages to clean off the muck that came out of my funnel. And that... He added sternly, it's all I meant when I said they clean engines well on the telephone. <laughs> yes, Peter Sam, giggled the girls. Of course it is. <laughs>